Today we're going to solve a multi-step equation, and here are the steps we're going to take. The first step that we do is we try to simplify both sides. So we try to use the distributive property, and we like to combine, combine like terms on both sides. Then, if we have variables on two sides, we like to have them on the same side. So we need to add or subtract variables so we can collect them on the same side. After that, we isolate the variable. That means that we want to have the variable equal to a constant. So we have to add or subtract to get the variable equal to a constant. Finally, we multiply or divide so we can have a coefficient of 1 and we can have our answer. And here is the equation we'll be solving today. Now as we look at it, the first thing we see is that it's long and that it has parentheses. It has a lot of like terms. So we're going to distribute negative 11 into the first side of the parentheses. So we're going to distribute negative 11 here. That gives me 7x minus 22x, and then negative 11 times 2 is negative 22. Over here, we need to distribute the 1 third. Since a lot of us are not good with fractions, we need to show some work for that. So 1 third times 6 becomes 6 over 1, becomes 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2. So 1 third times 6 becomes 2x. 1 third times 12 that would be 1 third times 12, which is equal to 12 divided by 3, which is equal to 4. So plus 4. We bring down the negative 8x, and we bring down the positive 1. Now, we need to combine like terms on the left. So we see that we have a 7x and a negative 22x. That gives me negative 15x minus 22. On the right-hand side, we have 2x minus 8x. That is negative 6x. Then we have the constants 4 plus 1. That's plus 5. So we've completed the first step. The second step is we notice that we have variables on two sides. So we need to collect them on the same side. You either need to add 15x to both sides or you need to add 6x to both sides. It doesn't matter which one you do as long as you get rid of the, get all the x's on the same side. So let's get rid of the negative 6x. So we do the inverse, so we add 6x to both sides. When we're doing this, we're also using the addition property of equality. So that goes away. Now we have negative 9x minus 22. Now here, I do have 0, but because of the identity property, I don't need to put that 0. So I'm just going to bring down the 5. Now I need to isolate the variable, so I need to have the variables equal to one number. Well, to do that, I need to add 22 to both sides. And again, that's the addition property of equality. So that turns into a 0. So here, I get negative 9x equals 27. Then I just divide by negative 9, divide by negative 9 to turn my coefficient into a 1. And that gives me my answer of x equals negative 3. And that is how you solve a multi-step equation.